Today I'm in Sheffield. For centuries it's been home of the British steel industry. I'm meeting up with the last few remaining master cutlers and I'm going to have a go at making a pair of scissors. This is the only remaining scissor factory in Sheffield city centre. It was founded in 1902 when Sheffield was world renowned as a cutlery town and there were 150 thriving scissor companies. Nick Wright, the fifth generation of his family to be in the cutlery trade, is determined this factory will survive. In the 60s, uh, probably had about 80 employees. Yeah, and how many have you got uh, today? Three, skilled now. Three. Wow. Yeah. Why, is that? Why is that? Because the demand's still there, surely. If you look back to the, uh, the 1950s and 60s, the world came to Sheffield for scissors. Yeah. But since the event of globalisation, um, since you, you've got the whole world making scissors now, yeah. um, it, it's got a lot harder trying to compete with the, the foreign imports. Where are they producing now? China, I and, imagine. Uh, China, India, Pakistan, they're all big centres of, uh, of industry for scissors now. Mm. Uh, we are, in the UK, very small, um, but we like to think that ours are as, as good as anyone. It's all about quality. See, I see Absolutely. the smile on your face. Yeah, it is. At right. the end of the day, quality counts and it will always last. I'm keen to see these master craftsmen at work. Ian started in the scissor factory in the days when, if you took a job, it was a job for life. He's now past retirement, but he stayed on because of the shortage of apprentices and for the love of scissors. How long have you been doing this? 46 years. Good, that's man with, and boy, with this, really, isn't it? With this company. 46. I came here in 1968 when Nicky's grandfather had the company and now we've got Nicky. How, how many different types of scissors are there that you work on here? That I work on more than 100. Easily. Really? And what's the most common pair of scissors? Is it that one you're holding this, now? This is the most common one. Is, is what do you call that? An 8 inch dressmaker's. An 8 inch dressmaker's yes. pair of scissors. Okay, purely for dressmaking, for cutting yes. fabric. Well, yeah. let's have a go. Ribbon cutting ceremonies, dressmaking, hair cutting, and even the odd pair for left handers. All the scissors made here are made for a specific purpose. Oh, really? Wonderbar. Now that we've put an edge on the scissors to make them fit for use, it's on to the next stage. Eric. Paul. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. You are one of the last master cutlers here as well. Mm -hmm. Part of the, the trio, yep. carrying on the long 50, tradition. 56 years. 56 years. Yeah. How many pairs of scissors do you think you've made in your life? Millions I must have touched. And you never get bored of it? Uh, a little bit, sometimes. <laughs> What have you been working on today? I mean, I've been bow it. dressing. What, what does that mean? Bow dressing is virtually just polishing the bows up. The bows that... Um, so, see, these have to be done and these are being done? That's right. Oh. It used to be a, a, a female's job, a woman's job, it used to be. But, of course, they've all done now. And but it's a, dirty, want to do it. it's a dirty old job, isn't it? It is a dirty job, yeah. In its heyday in the 1960s, hundreds of thousands were employed in the cutlery industry here in Sheffield. The techniques used to make scissors here haven't changed since then. Take your fingerprints off. Here the blades are being polished, which gives the scissors their smooth and shiny surface. I wouldn't want to have a go at that. You have to have the right amount of tension holding those scissors because they just go flying off everywhere. And as it looks right now, it is a fantasia, a symphony of scissor sparks. You won't do that all day long, will you? No, I don't do this all day long. No. Are they hot? They are hot, yes. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the final stage is for the scissors to be smithed or straightened and assembled, ready to go in the furnace. Cliff works as a master scissors putter togetherer. Yes, that's his official title. You did a five year apprenticeship, didn't you? You've obviously served your time throughout your life. Well, I mean, you can safely say you are a master cutler. Yeah, but I wouldn't say we're a five year apprentice, more like a 10 or 15 year <laughs> apprenticeship. But do you, do, you, do you say all that you never stop learning? You don't, never stop learning. And I'm still learning now. What's the first thing you do? We go round it like that. See? Like that. Now, it doesn't look very neat. No, it doesn't, does it? No. But when I put it to more processes after this, you wouldn't know. Right. That's sweet. Now then, see how that's, that's come flat? You can run your fingers down and it'll bang flat. That's pretty good, isn't that's, it? That's, I'm, I'm happy with that, see. 
I mean, these will last 100 oh, years, won't they? They would do, yeah. It really annoys me when you go to the cheap shops yeah, and you see, yeah. like, three pairs of scissors yeah. for, like, £2.50 and yeah. you use them once. They don't even cut a piece of paper, you yeah. chuck them. Everything's solid on that. Make it, make it once and make it last a lifetime. Exactly. Granddaughter works at, uh, she's at college doing dressmaking, etc. And I make her scissors. And she says, oh, these are brilliant. I says, they're not brilliant, them scissors. They're poetry in motion. <laughs> <laughs> There's hope that this craft will be passed on into the next century because the factory has recently taken on a new generation of scissor maker. Jamie, you are the new apprentice. You are the fresh blood that's come here. Did you, did you think, yes, I want to work with my hands, I want to be a master cutler or what? Something practical mainly, yeah. that's what I mean. And how did you find out about the job here? Uh, through the council. We've got an apprenticeship scheme just started this year. What was going through your mind as you were walking through the door for the first time? I didn't think it was going to be as complicated as it is. Yeah. But there's a lot more to it than what meets the eye. And because there's a challenge, has that made you keener? Yeah. 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 How is he doing, by the way? Come on, first well, impressions. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming along slowly, but he's coming along. Does he make a good cup of tea? Very good. That's his first and foremost <laughs> job. I, you know, I knew he'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> Scissor making is a huge part of Sheffield's social history and heritage and it's great that companies like this are fighting to keep local production alive. They are passing on the skills of these masters to the next generation of handmade revolutionaries. Is there a lot of pressure on you to carry on the family tradition? Yeah. Uh, is there light at the end of the tunnel? There's certainly light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, it, it, it's, it's been hard, but... I'm absolutely passionate about it. I really want to do it. I but really it starts right here, right now. It. Really, it does. for you, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. You've got a cracking uh, team. We have. That's a what's great most bunch important. Of guys. They are. Three of the last surviving master yep. cutlers. Yeah. Yeah. I've been told to bring a penny in. I don't know why. Yeah. But there's your penny, okay? I am going to give you the gift of a pair of scissors. Thank you very much. These are the ones I worked on. The old myth is that uh, you give the gift of a blade and it can sever a friendship. So, oh, thank you so I'm much. I'm a penny off you. We should stay friends forever. Thank you. Look at that. I mean, they just feel so good. They feel fabulous. Great British skills. That's what it's all about. I appreciate not everyone can have a go at scissor making, unless, of course, you fancy an apprenticeship in Sheffield. But it's so important that quality industrial craftsmanship is still being championed. <laughs>